This video is on calculations using vergences. So I highly recommend you watch my first two videos on vergences. You will not understand this video unless you watch my first two videos on vergences. So I have here a lens. This is a representation of a lens, a 10 diopter lens. And here is a representation of an object. And this object is 20 centimeters away from the lens, and the object is one centimeter tall. So if you can imagine yourself over here and you look through the lens, you will see an image, right? This image will be either right side up, upside down, larger or smaller. And the way you calculate this is using vergences. You can also use ray tracing but that takes more time and it's a lot harder in my opinion. So to do calculations using vergences, you can use this equation, u plus d equals v. Some textbook has it as l plus f equals l prime, but the concept is the same. The u is the vergence of the object, the d is the power of the lens, and the V is the vergence of the image. So let's first find out U. What is U, the vergence of the object? That's very simple. The vergence of the object is just 1 over 0.2 meters, right, which is 5 diopters. In this case, it's actually minus 5 diopters, minus 5 diopters, because the vergence hits the lens, the vergence of the object is diverting, it's a diverting vergence. So if you could imagine a circle, uh, which is a wavefront, if you could imagine a circle that surrounds the object and it has a diameter of 20 centimeters. So the circle is a wavefront and because it's a diverting wavefront, you have minus five diopters. So the U is minus five diopters. The D is just the power of the lens, which is positive 10 diopters. And the V is very simple. You add the two numbers, you get plus 5 diopters. So that's the V. So the divergence, the wavefront that leaves the lens, the wavefront that leaves the lens is positive 5 diopters. The divergence that leaves this lens the curvature of the wavefront. Now, from this information, you can find out the location of the image, the size of the image, and I'll do that in my next video. Hopefully this helps.